healthy brain with me. Woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with a mini review and a tutorial with this look that I have going on right here. And I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys know. You know because you're all up in Instagram and you're following all these beauty brands all over the place. But Coastal Sense released a revealed three palette. Yes. Not a revealed, a revealed two, a revealed three. So they're really trying to keep up with the Joneses, aren't they? Um, and I have a review on the re of revealed two on my channel already, and I've never used the revealed, the original. But I do have to say that I am a fan of Coastal Sense shadows. They do have those singles called Hot Pots that are really, really good. But like any really affordable brand, they do have some hits and misses. When I received this palette, I got really excited because when I opened it, I was like, okay, this I'll really like. This kind of reminds me of the Reveal 2, except I'll like it better. <laughs> For no other reason except it's just prettier. It has more metallic-y shades. It has more like of a gold, more of like a plum and pink influence. This one was a little bit more of a palette that I would like, but I really wouldn't gravitate towards. So this seems more of like a cool tone palette, even though I prefer my warm shadows. It's more of a cool tone palette that I, with my neutral to warm undertones, would gravitate for or towards and be like YOLO. So it's kind of one of those palettes that even though it's a cooler palette, it's friendly for all complexions. You know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? But like all Coastal Sense products, there are some hits and misses in this palette. Most of them are buttery, soft, creamy, and delicious, but there are a few pow there are a few powdery, kind of chalky, poorly pigmented colors in here, but all, all in all, it's a really beautiful palette. This is a $40 palette, but Coastal Sense is so funny because they always release stuff with a price, but it's never really that price. You can always find it cheaper. So for example, it's a $40 palette, but you could generally always find it for $20. And sometimes they'll have a flash sale where you could get it as cheap as $9.99. So you really want to keep an eye out for a price drop or price promotion on these because you can get it for a lot cheaper. I'm really happy with this palette. Like I said, I created this look using it and it's a really great drugstore price alternative. You have colors that you could easily find in other palettes. For example, like your Lorac um, unzipped palette. There are a lot of similarities in some of those colors. There are some colors that you could find in say your Naked 3 palette. You know, a couple of mauvey rosy tone colors. There are a couple of colors that you could even find in this um, what is this called? Stila in the Moment palette. You know, that really kind of brownish and purpley influence. So it's a kind, it's a really well-rounded palette. When you look at it head on, it almost doesn't make sense. You're like, well, there's just colors everywhere. What could I do? What could I really do with it? But you have that matte, which is so important. The Jaclyn Hill palette didn't even have the matte highlight cream shade. So you have that matte cream shade for the bra bone. You have this really beautiful peachy shade that you could put on the lid or you could use it as a transition. I mixed these two and this one together to get a, the perfect transition shade. Then you have this really beautiful, look at how beautiful this color is. Isn't that, it's like a, it's like a taupey purple. Then you have this deep plum. This deep plum right here looks like that color that was in the new Cinderella palette. Um, how about this black with silver shimmer? Do you see how creamy these colors are? Um, this rose gold right there. Look how beautiful that color is. Imagine as an as a, um, inner corner highlight. And that is this color right here. It looks pretty dark, but when you swatch it, look how beautiful and just light that color is. Let's see if I can get any others. Oh, this beautiful, how about this beautiful gold? Do you see that beautiful gold? There's this maroon that I use this as my, I use this as my transition shade, but you could see how it, it's really garnet on my finger, but when you blend it out really well, it's really easy to use. They blend out really nicely. I haven't noticed any problems with them um, creasing or fading throughout the day, which is a really big plus, especially if you like to wear makeup to work. You want it to last, you know, and look at how beautiful that color is. It's like a sand. Let me try oh, this color here. Let's try this one. This is like a purpley taupe. 
on my pinky. So you see how beautiful the colors are? So it does, a, it does offer a really great variety of shades. So just so that you guys can see how versatile this palette is, I'm going to insert a tutorial doing this look, and I'll be right back. So I already went ahead and primed my eye with Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my giant fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take the very first color in this palette, which is a matte cream shade, and I'm going to apply that under my brow bone and all the way to my crease. This is going to highlight my eyebrows subtly and it's also going to help me blend out the transition shade. Then I'm going to take a giant fluffy blending brush, like this E40, and I'm going to take a little bit of these two brown shades right here. This one and this one. Just mix together. One is a really warm brown, the other one's a cool brown. And I just kind of want to, I want to create like a custom transition shade, but uh, it's just going to create depth because it's a really dark brown shade darker than a transition shade should be. So I'm going to concentrate that on the center of the crease. Then I'm going to go in with my flat shader brush from e.l.f., this little guy right here, and I'm going to dip it into this beautiful bubblegum pink. It looks kind of pale on camera, but it's legit like bubblegum pink, and that's going to go all over the lid. This color in particular takes a little while to build up and it is a little powdery. It's one, it's probably one of the few bad colors in this palette. I thought I had a lot of high hopes for it, but it's really hard to use. But all the other ones are really, really great. I probably wouldn't say it's the worst, but it's such a pretty color that I'm willing to, I'm willing to work with it. So I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. Then I'm going to go in with that same E40 again, and I'm going to take this maroon shade right here. It's almost like a pinky maroon. And I'm going to put that over the transition shade that we used. And you can see it kind of warms it up, makes it look all, it, all the pink kind of comes together with that color. You hear my dogs playing. They're always here making so much noise. Then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush like this one from Coastal Scents and I'm going to dip it into this beautiful purple color right here. And that is right below the matte brow bone color that we used. And I'm going to concentrate that right into the crease and the outer V area. Now it's just the adjustment process. Go back with the shader brush, take a little bit more of that pink, Emphasize the lid. Go back in with the E40. You could take additional product if you need to, and then kind of blend out that purple a little bit. And your eyes pretty much match now. So now what we're gonna do is the lower lash line. And for that, I'm gonna take the Silka Seam in Rose Gold, I think it's called. It's the illuminator, and I'm just going to put that on the inner corner and bring it up a little into the lid and then bring it down about one third of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a Jane pencil in like gray, it's, it's called charcoal, and I'm gonna run that on the rest of my lower lash line. Don't worry if it's messy, we're gonna fix it. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to dip that pencil brush into this um, kind of taupey gray shade and I'm gonna use that to blend out this gray pencil. And you're just gonna run it back and forth and you can overlap on the rose gold color because we can always go in and put that, put more on top. Go in with that rose gold and re-emphasize anything that you may have taken off. And then the last step is to take a black pencil 
and apply that to your waterline. I'm gonna do my mascara and I'll be right back. And that is a completed look. What do you guys think? Super easy, right? I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. It's very simple, right? And it gives you an idea of, you know, a really neutral look that you can do with this palette, even though when you look at it, you're like, whoa, that's a lot of plums and purples and a black. You know, it's a little scary, but super easy to use. You can see the extensive variety of colors. I'm going to link this product down in the description box below because like I said, the price changes so often. And I'm also going to link my Reveal 2 review down below in case you guys are interested in finding out about that palette. Um, and I think that's it guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.